Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Dave and Brandy's Excursions Travel here with a walking tour of the Resorts World Resort in Bimini. In this video, you'll see us getting off of the ship onto the tram service that's at the pier and of course coming to Resorts World. So let's come along, check out the cool nooks and crannies of the resort and we'll see what we get into. Alright, got our wristbands, and we're gonna head on to the tram. To mention too, we bought this excursion through the cruise line, but they always have this tram service available for anybody, even without an excursion. If you just want to go to Resorts World, or the Fisherman's Village, or to the casino, these are running non-stop all the time when we're on the island. <laughs> Now that's an other alternative. You can rent a golf cart here on the island, which the majority of people do do that, <laughs> just to check out the island. But we're gonna take the tram. Yeah, there's definitely a plethora of golf carts here. We made it, let's head on inside. And then we get our free welcome drink. There is a map of the whole Resorts World area here, but I'll pinpoint and let you know where we're at. So obviously we came into the main entrance. You have a nice overview of the whole retreat, basically. All the loungers and the lagoon that there's the two pools. We really liked this resort. Let's head down to the beach. And they do have these nice little walkways. It just makes it so much easier to get around the resort. And here is one of the lagoons. This side was meant for the adults. And the opposite side means for families. Section they have a separated either an adult section or a family section. So we got adults there and families over here. <laughs> they even have beach wheelchairs. That's pretty neat. They also do have Habanas here, but they are a little bit pricey. I can't remember the exact price. I'll have to mention it down below, but. I do remember them selling them as an excursion for here, and to me, not worth the money. But they're there if you need them. It was actually one set of cabanas. They're the beach cabanas, and this was the north side of the cabana area. I absolutely love the beach walkways. It makes it so much easier to get around. All right, found our spots, so we're getting ready to relax. And enjoy this. It may be overcast. It might be a little bit windy. The waves are rough, but hey, it's better than being at work. The 
sweet chairs. They got these cute little beds. How cute. And there's some clamshells down there as well. In the cabanas. It's pretty nice. They have a changing area here. Lockers. Pretty nice. Also forgot to mention this was right off the bathrooms and that's right off when you enter the main house area so it's not too far away. Got some showers here. Got the adult pool here. These sets of cabanas is the North Grove cabanas and there's a North and South Grove but once I turn around here you're gonna see a set of Lagoon cabanas as well. This whole area is pretty nice too. You have a bunch of hammocks, more seating, and way in the back there is called a court where you can play cornhole. And this bar looking area, it's called Beach Eats North. It wasn't open when we were there, but that was fine. But let's go to the court area to check out the cornhole. Alright guys, we just ran up here to the restroom and figured we forgot to bring water with us off the ship. Usually we bring a couple bottles, you know, in our bag coming off. But, um, rookie mistake, and I wish I did because I just grabbed two waters at the food stand here and they're $4 a piece. So if you're coming here, the place is gorgeous, highly recommend, but if you don't want to pay $4 for a bottle of water, I bring some with you. <laughs> but other than that, it's been fantastic and we're having a great day so far. Right, let's go check out the southern end of the resort, shall we? And here's the view of the family side of the lagoon. Now, this is all also Virgin Voyages, their resort. So when it's Virgin that's here, it's all adult. And this cute little hideaway area is called the hideaway. <laughs> cool little stone seating and regular chairs here. Just a nice little area if you just want to get out of the sun for a little bit and just relax. And I loved how they used the old tree stumps as tables. Now we're heading towards Beach Eats South. Now this was open if you want to grab a bite to eat while you're here. This is where you would go. A little selection here. It almost looks like there's like food places here too, but they're closed. Definitely enough spots to sit and eat and relax too. And I think this section is a little bit different. I did see a sign for a VIP area. I'm not sure if that's a virgin thing or I don't know, but yeah. And indeed, it is 
Um, when Virgin is here, that's the Rockstar Retreat area. So that's for the VIPs who have the Rockstar Retreat. Pretty with the lights here too. Yeah, I think this whole area right here being supported by rocks is all a VIP section. That's interesting. You can see the down here is roped off. We're not on a virgin voyage, and I'm not a rock star. Eh, let's go check it out. <laughs> Looks like a nice cozy little area, just the Definitely enough deck space here. It just looks so cozy and relaxing here. As you can see off the corner of the screen there, they have cabanas here as well. And I'm technically outside of the resort area, but you could park your golf carts here. And it was just a pretty view of the whole resort's world area. And nice area to watch the waves crash against the rocks. And you have a nice view of the ship from here. Same thing, watching the waves crash into the rocks. Just so relaxing. That pretty much sums up our day at Resorts World on Bimini Beach. Let me know in the comments, have you ever been here? Or if you plan on coming here, has this video helped you out at all? Let me know in the comments below. But we want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch our video. And until the next time, we will see you on the next excursion. Bye guys.